atmosphere, what, what, what all this means to you, not only be defending the USC heavyweight title, but to be doing it here. So you do it, man. Cleveland's got to charge back, man. They were here. It's just a little about the city. It's interesting because obviously the, the roles are reversed from last time, and it seemed like Fabricio didn't necessarily handle things right. It didn't necessarily work out well for him. How do you, how do you feel that you're able to handle it differently? Well, I mean, listen, it's business. I'm going to go in there and do my job. You know, I've trained super hard. I've trained too hard to give it up. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't want to give anything up. I worked too hard to get this title. Is there any danger at all? Because it is, it's so special of getting caught up in the moment, caught up in the emotion versus focusing directly on the opponent in front of you. No, I'm really here to win. I'm, I mean, there's nothing to get away that. I'm going to win the fight and I'm going to still champ. Over in the set, you know, you're living the championship lifestyle. Like, and somehow you're not training as much. Have you, have you heard that? I mean, what, what has cha championship life been for you? Well, we'll find out Saturday if I've been training or not. So, I'm like, sleeping. But, uh, but no, man, listen, I've been doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing my obligations, but. I've been training all the time. I know. Everywhere I went, the public coached me. I'm just, I've been guys spar with me. I've been like, I've been certain. That's it. Keepa, you going to make a prediction? No, I'm going to win. You'll find out when I get my hand raised. How I did it. Keepa, what's the last couple of weeks and months been like for you? First off, you go and win the, the heavyweight championship. Cavs won a championship. You go and you get married. It's been quite a ride for you so far. Yeah, it's been great, you know, but uh, you know, back to business. You know, it's, uh, it's life. That's what I chose to do. It's my profession. You know, I love what I do. It's awesome, but... Uh, you know, it's been great last couple months. You know, getting married and everything, but uh, you know, Saturday's my night. Murdom and Wilburn, they're a little different fighters. Do you change anything here in terms of your game plan, or is everything the same? Yeah, definitely. You definitely change game plans with every fighter you have. You know, I mean, every fight's different. Um, you know, we, we brought some great guys in. We worked over some film. We have a great strategic plan, you know, like we always do, and I'm a walking cop like I always do. So if things are different, what, what kind of challenges does Overeem represent that Wordham did? Oh, he brings a lot of challenges, you know, he's, you know, first of all, he's a veteran, he's the best in the world, he's very savvy, uh, you know, a great kickboxer, K1 and all that, fun pride, uh, big strong guy, um, he's good on the ground too, you know, he's very dangerous everywhere, you know, like, like you said, he's a you know, better all-around all -around fighter than me, so we'll see what happens though Saturday. Steve, have you thought about what kind of reception it's going to be like on Saturday when you walk out there? Oh yeah, I know it's going to be, you know, it's, the cues are going to be going crazy, I know it is, but honestly, I'm task at hand, that's all I care about, all I care about is when I'm walking in the octagon, thinking about what I'm going to do that guy. How do you do that? How do you not get caught up in the emotion of being in your hometown at this, at this arena? I've thought it's been like, like 10 times already, so it's, I mean, just add, you know, 10,000 yeah. more people. This chin really is gone! It. He is a glass cannon! Overeem! Overeem! Any more questions? Any more? Any questions? Thanks, guys. Thanks,